Welcome back to America's Retirement Headquarters, home of the Retirement Guys Formula and America's Medicare Associates with Nolan Baker and Scott Kirshner, 419-794-3030. That's the phone number, 419-794-3030. Online, americasretirementheadquarters.com. This is the second half of the show. And like some teams do during halftime, we've made some substitutions here. So Bill and uh, uh, Dan, we've subbed out. I've got uh, Scott Kirshner. You guys may be familiar with. Uh, he's here on the show. And Victoria Wilson. So Victoria, welcome. Scott, welcome back. How are you guys doing? Uh, thank you very much, Chris. It's good to be back. Uh, I missed everybody last week, but um, I was out doing some business. And it's good to be back. Victoria, welcome. How are you today? Oh, thank you. This is my first time ever on a radio. So if I babble or act weird, forgive <laughs> me, guys. But uh, happy to be here. Wonderful. Yeah, absolutely. Victoria is from our Ann Arbor office. Victoria is a chartered retirement plan counselor and financial advisor. So we're going to be talking about retirement mistakes and sharing some ideas. Uh, I thought it'd be really beneficial. Uh, for those of you that are listening that you missed our economic summit, uh, we just recently had our economic summit where we talked about threats and opportunities. Of course, you can check the comments and message below and get a direct link to that information. We've got all that information posted up on our YouTube channel. Type in America's Retirement Headquarters. Uh, you can get more information on what we covered at our economic summit. And for those of you that are ready to come to the next event, just go over to our website, America's Retirement Headquarters. Click on the events tab. We've got topics that we're talking about during this segment, which is on baby boomer basics, some of the mistakes that retirees are making and how to avoid them. We've also got topics that we're going to be talking about on health care. Uh, we've got so many great events that you can come out to. So lots of great things happening, Chris. Absolutely. And so let's go and jump in and start talking about these retirement mistakes. Actor and comedian Kevin Hart. You may be familiar. It's pretty hard to turn on the TV these days and not see him. He's one of the hardest working people in Hollywood. Maybe one reason for that is because he made a huge tax mistake back in 2009. He had a chance to talk to the uh, Thoughts of a Saint podcast, and he said that he immediately took action. I owed the government an absurd amount of money. I just got to figure out how to recover. The business manager I had at the time, I fired. I wanted to understand how to control my money, deal with my money, make sure I see my checks, sign all my checks. And I said, I want to take the absolute minimum amount for myself and everything else I'm just going to put in an account. I'm going to call it a tax account. But it took me a year and a half, two years. And then once I got out, I said, oh, never again. So he could have been in pretty dire straits there. How can you help our listeners avoid costly mistakes that could, you know, derail their retirement? Well, I would say that I could talk, uh, you know, the entire show on this topic because, you know, retirement is a point in your life that it really, uh, one mistake can derail your entire retirement. I had a conversation uh, recently we did with Josh Perkins when he was in town from mm -hmm. our uh, Texas office, and we were talking about retirement mistakes. And, you know, some of the things that I have seen is, number one, not having the mind shift. And the mind shift is going from an accumulation phase to a deaccumulation phase. You know, there's a different style of investing. Uh, you know, it's what we've trademarked called the independent income system when you transition from the working years to retirement. In fact, if I could share a quick story, I remember meeting a family and uh, this gentleman had retired in the year 2007. And, you know, at that time, the real estate markets were at record high. Mm -hmm. uh, the markets were doing great. Things appeared very well. And his company offered him a, a really strong buyout. And it was kind of one of those no brainers to take the buyout. He probably wasn't going to retire for a couple of more years, but it made so much sense by taking the buyout to go ahead and, you know, transition into retirement time. And what he had is he had taken his lump sum, had his 401k, and all of his money was invested into the stock market. And we now know looking back, of course, what happened in 2008 was not only would he taken a withdrawal out of his investment accounts, the market had sliced and diced and mm -hmm. had a dramatic negative impact on his portfolio. Well, he was only 62 and, you know, also only a few short years until he was going to get to retirement time, decided to self-insure, if you will, and uh, try to, you know, hopefully not have any health issues, really hadn't had any big health issues, just wait until he got to age Medicare versus, as Scott, you always talk about the unaffordable cost of health care. Sure, sure. But the, the other painful one-two whammy is, uh, unfortunately, this gentleman ended up getting cancer, um, you know, did his best to, to fight cancer. And, you know, because we're on radio, I have to be careful what I say, but cancer is a four-letter word. Mm -hmm. You know, we've all, I think, had some type of impact of what cancer can do to our loved ones. And it's such a deadly disease. But the other challenge about that is that deadly disease racked up a huge bill as they did everything they possibly could to uh, try to save his life. And unfortunately, you know, 
cancer ended up taking his life. And then what was happening in that situation is not only with the downturn in the market, his wife ended up with these mm-hmm. substantial bills uh, and just really kind of an, one unfortunate mistake after another. So we want to do this show to help educate you to avoid some of these common mistakes. Now, Scott, when we talk about healthcare, I'd say healthcare ranks up to me as one of those big priorities for you know retirement mistakes that can catch you off guard. Wouldn't you agree? No, there's no question, Nolan. And and, and to add to that story, you know, I, I um, uh, didn't have the good fortune of meeting this person, but I will tell you this: if people that had cancer, you know, towards the end of their life, there's a lot of things that the loved ones have to do to take care of them. You know, I spoke with a, um, a client just uh, this past week and uh, the mother's in, in a uh, skilled nursing facility. The insurance ran out because you only get 100 days in the skilled nursing. Uh, she's been booted out. She's, she's falling into that, that crack where uh, she's not unhealthy enough to stay in a facility but not healthy enough to to go home so she's right in that area where she needs home health care the problem with this particular uh, uh, situation is they have some money uh, so it's not like they don't have any money so medicaid is not an option they have some money and the loved one is left to take care of them you know, and when you're facing, you know, um, this person's not, but the client you were talking about, end of life care, if that burden is put onto a spouse or a loved one, that's also going to deplete their investment accounts, right? I mean, you're spending money, you may have to quit working to take care of that spouse or loved one. So now you're forced into retirement, your income is drastically cut, and you're spending money taking care of the, the loved one. Um, so there's no question that a lot of, of problems that people that, you know, the, the sticker shock of, of, um, being forced into retirement. Um, I was on the phone with a, um, one of the prospects from Texas when I went down there and, um, uh, you were doing a zoom call and they said, uh, well, um, things have changed drastically. I was going to continue working and my company has been bought out. Uh, so to no fault of theirs, she's forced into retirement now. Well, she's turning 65 December. Her husband is uh, 70 years old. So now they are forced, both of them, to go on Medicare, right? They make over the standard income. So their Medicare premiums for each of them is $370 just for Medicare Part B. So that's before they even sign up for any sort of uh, advantage or supplemental plan. So they... um, if you could have heard their, their, their comments on the Zoom call, they were absolutely shocked at how much it was going to cost them. Didn't have a lot of good words for Medicare itself, but as I talked to them and explained to them how uh, Medicare works and how that was impacting them, uh, they were a little, by the end of the call, they were a little more understanding of it. But, um, you know, if, if you're not properly prepared for that catastrophic claim, whether it be a health, uh, cancer, heart attack, um, or, or simple dental problems. You know, dental is very, very expensive, and you can rack up uh, an extremely large amount of uh, bills um, if you're not properly covered and properly prepared for that. So something to be prepared for. Yeah, it really seems like that mistake is thinking that your retirement date is going to work out exactly as planned. And, you know, as you pointed out, sometimes unexpected health care crisis can create uh, that change immediately. Uh, also, in the situation of losing your job, I had, can think of numerous people who thought things were going to be fine. I'm going to coast it out the next sure. couple of years, get yep. to retirement time. And three years from now, I'm going to move into retirement. You know, there, there are ways, and it's kind of like what I would say, running the fire safety drill. You know, there's been so many times that people have come into our office and we've put together their overall financial plan that says, if your target retirement date, it works out the way that you want it, here's what that game plan is. And then from there, the conversation typically goes, okay, what could blow it up? Sure. And, uh, you know, unexpected job loss or an unexpected healthcare crisis, you know, can create those type of problems. You know... When we look at it, there's so many different retirement mistakes that can catch people off guard. I would say the area of taking like too big of a withdrawal 
uh, is another issue. You know, there's rules of thumb in our mm-hmm. industry, and some people think, well, you know, my investments over the last several years have earned five or six percent with you know, income because the market's been good. So when they go into retirement time, they set themselves up for a five or 6% income. Now, Victoria, as somebody, you know, who works in this area and somebody who spends a lot of time, you know, working on uh, income planning, I think income planning is somewhat different. I would say that most people probably have some form of financial plan that could be whether it's sitting down with a financial professional, developing a financial plan, or maybe a, a calculator or a tool when they log into your 401k. But what are the mistakes that people make when they're looking at their retirement income? I think, I don't, I have to say I have a, a neighbor who just took a pension lump sum as well, just like you were talking. Uh, and he's young, but uh, man, he's committed to start Social Security at 62. And I'm trying to talk to him to, you know, wait, your mom is 87, still living, likelihood of you living is longer. And I think today people believe, you know, that I'm just going to live till like 70 or something and be done. So I better get my Social Security early. Right. Uh, But, you know, you never know. And again, he took this uh, pension buyout and uh, I believe he he still I don't really know how he hasn't invested, hasn't talked to me, but you know, with the market being as crazy as it is, uh, he's worried. I know he's worried about it because you never know what's going to happen. And um, uh, I don't um, actually, I don't know if there is like that many people who do have a financial plan. I would say today I came across a lot of people who just do it themselves. Mm-hmm. You know, Excel spreadsheet and let's put all my accounts there and see I took here, took here. But then if you don't put the, you know, all the planning in there and thoughts, you don't know how it's going to affect your taxes. You don't know how it's going to uh, affect your health care costs because, you know, the that's all tied out to the premiums you are paying and all the other things. So, I mean, to have a really income strategy and, you know, independent income system that's... Um, you know, somebody helps you prepare, somebody who is an uh, expert in it. I think it's this sh- can't hurt anyone. I would agree. And, you know, here at America's Retirement Headquarters, we love working with people who are do-it-yourself type of investors because, again, through our independent income system, you know, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on that comprehensive approach of how to help you better manage your money, protect your hard-earned assets, and efficiently plan your estate. And it never hurts to get a second set of eyes to take a look at things. There could be other areas, whether it's your Medicare planning Mm -hmm. or whether it's, you know, updating your overall estate plans to make sure your beneficiary forms are up to date. We're getting that second set of eyes can help you avoid some of these retirement mistakes. In fact, what we've done is we've put together the independent income system checklist. And what this checklist does is it'll walk through 24 different areas of your finances to make sure that you cross the T's and you dot the I's. Because as we pointed out, retirement, it doesn't give you that luxury of time to make up for mistakes. So we're certainly happy to help when it comes to making sure that you avoid those retirement mistakes with your retirement. You spent your entire working career working for your money. Why not make your money work for you as you enter into retirement? Find out more about the independent income system. Create an actual income plan when it comes to your retirement. Go to americasretirementheadquarters.com. Find out more about the independent income system right there and schedule a time to speak with them. You can you can do the right there on the website or give a call 419-794-3030. That's 419-794-3030. There's more to come here on America's Retirement Headquarters. We're going to talk about health and dental expenses and what a couple age 65 and older can expect to spend. Take a guess. We'll have that answer when we come back. 